President Joe Biden's first NATO summit as president is well underway in Brussels tonight. On his agenda this week is everything from China and Russia to climate change. Our KCAU 9 Washington correspondent Anna Warnicke reports now in our top story at 5. NATO is critically important for U.S. interest. In Brussels on Monday, President Biden reaffirmed America's commitment to its NATO allies. The U.S. commitment to Article 5 of the NATO Treaty is rock solid and unshakable. Biden met with European leaders Monday morning to discuss how NATO should adapt to new challenges, including cyber attacks, climate change, and growing threats from China and Russia. Russia and China are both seeking to drive a wedge in our transatlantic solidarity. We're seeing an increase in malicious cyber activity. Our relationship uh, with Russia is at its lowest point since uh, the Cold War. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg says the leaders agreed they want to tackle these challenges diplomatically. Keep our defenses strong while remaining ready to talk. The Biden administration already imposed sanctions against Moscow over several past cyber attacks. Russian President Vladimir Putin denied those allegations in an interview with NBC News on Monday. We have been accused of all kinds of things, election interference, cyber attacks and so on and so forth, and not once, not once, not one time did they bother to produce any kind of evidence or proof. President Biden is set to meet with Putin face to face on Wednesday in Geneva. The last time that they met was 10 years ago when President Biden was vice president and Putin was prime minister. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Back to you.